Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to the truth about making cartoons by the odd ones out. Now I have not seen this, and based on the title, uh, I'm guessing this is going to be about uh, making animated videos, which I already kind of know about. I know that it takes a long and laborious process. Uh, you know, it's very, it's very long. And that just makes sense because you got to like draw out all the frames and stuff and everything. So yeah, it's very long and takes a, a ton of effort, you know. And then you got people like me who, uh, you know, react to it uh, with uh, almost a slim amount of effort. But yeah, anyways, guys, our original link's in the description. Make subscribe to the odd ones out. Links in the description. Let's get right into it. Recently, I read the worst YouTube comment ever, and I can't stop thinking about it. This really? comment lives in my head completely rent-free. It lives in its own private penthouse. The comment was concerning my upload schedule, and it was, if anime studios can make an episode of anime in one week, then these YouTubers can make a video in a month. Initially, I reacted like, You think that's how this works? You think anime studios post an episode well, no. and go, Great work, team. Well, time to make the next episode this week. No. Well, none of you have any plans. I know the working conditions in Japan are bad, but sheesh. I guess all the animators are just slacking off between seasons then, huh? And as I thought about it more, <laughs> I realized, ah, I can't get too mad. This person is just uneducated about the animation industry and is probably a minor. And then I thought, True. Hey. I know a bit about animation behind the scenes. Maybe I can nice talk green about screen. being an artist and educate people on the animation pipeline. So that way, I won't get any more uneducated comments. For this video, when <laughs> I say artist, I'm going to be talking about the Google definition of an artist. Really? Noun, a person who produces paintings or drawings as a profession or hobby. You know, the pen and paper artists. I'm not really going to be talking about artists who make music or birthday cakes or... Oh, like yeah, yeah, like stuff like that, yeah. I want to talk about cartoons. I make cartoons. Well, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. it should come to no surprise that, was just that I'm kinda a given. pro artist. Well, not a pro artist. Are you kidding? I know my skill level. I still can't draw fingers. What I'm saying is I will support anyone Sully? who wants to make art. If you're making well, art yeah. as a hobby, then that's a really great creative outlet. Same and here. having something physical as an end result is incredibly rewarding. But if you want to turn making art into a full-time job... You might want to sit down and consider a few things. Yeah. Like, are you sure you don't want to go to law school? The biggest challenge all it artists is face hard. is they have to eat food to survive. True. And in this capitalist society, food costs, costs money. money. So yeah. artists are challenged Gotta to somehow take to being live. good at making shapes and turn that into money. I know of four ways an artist can make a living. The first way is to be so good at art that people will pay money to hang it okay, up. Okay, that's funny. House. The second option is to make caricature drawings at beaches and tourist traps. Ooh. The third option is to sell your plasma. And the fourth option, which is the most common oh, okay. option, is to make drawings that people will pay you to make. And do a little bit of option three on the side. Some artists will take commissions, which is basically an oh, artist yeah. going, Hey, I'll draw whatever you want, asterisk, for $100. And people will go, what the f art should be free? Oh, yeah. It's going to give you so much exposure to my 50 Twitter followers. <laughs> or people will go, I want you to draw this cute animal character I made. And while at first your price might seem a bit high to the uneducated, I understand that art is a time consuming process. And yeah, hey. So here's a crisp one hundred. Hey, it's, it's me. Hey. Somewhat more stable idea <laughs> yeah. is that I've I've done art commissions before. Studios or work for well, YouTube. I've taken them. I'm giving. We'll like, yeah. Hey, we'll give you money if you draw specifically what we want, and if we don't like your art, we'll make sure to communicate clearly what we would like changed and work as a team to do the best we can. Or you're fired! And that leads us into animation. An important thing to remember for animation is that drawings equal time plus money. money exactly yeah. how much time? Well, to answer that one commenter's question, no, an anime studio does not make an episode of anime in one week. I think. South Park is what making an episode in a in week, week looks yeah. like. And truthfully, that's very impressive. I take months trying True. to figure out what the heck I'm even going to talk about. Well, yeah, adult making a animation single episode is not of great. a cartoon from scratch takes about two years. Don't believe me? Well, let's see what Yakko from the 2020 Animaniacs has to say in the very first episode. At least, we still think there's a President Trump. You see, the writers are writing this in 2018. Now that doesn't mean oh, yeah, they made a joke. years to make the first season of the Animaniacs. 
There's a lot of moving parts that happen when producing an animated TV series. For starters, the whole season of the show gets made at the same time. While the writers are writing episode 12, the storyboard team is boarding episode 3, and the design team is designing the bowling shoes that are going to be worn in episode 6. And it's someone's entire job to make sure that everyone's doing their job. This is called the Animation Pipeline. And there's so many oh, yeah. other departments that I could honestly make a whole other video Sound about effects. this pipeline. If you're Visual interested, effects. I'll do it. But just know yeah. that it takes roughly two years to make a season of a cartoon show. And that's why when shows reference memes, they're extremely outdated. You know, like a boss. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good. It's beautiful, isn't those it? Those are the good this memes. This exterior yeah. nighttime city skyline background. This background was drawn it makes by sense one why of my Space background Jam artists, big Annie Loomis, and it took seven hours to make. And it was used specifically for this clip. If it wasn't for the Cats movie, I would have thought Hollywood knew what they were doing too. It lasted for four seconds. Seven hours of work, four seconds of content. I mean, hey. So before we continue, I'm going to make you all <laughs> at least he's up front of that he has other animators doing his videos. Seconds, so I can double the value of this background. <laughs> Backgrounds can be a time consuming process, and the whole purpose of them is to be hey. in the back of the ground. They're not even the focus. So storyboarders will sketch out a scene to set the staging through layout, posing, and character expression. And during this phase, I'm trying to find places where I can reuse backgrounds or take pieces of other backgrounds and Frankenstein monster them together to make an entirely new background. Like how I used the city background to be outside this window. Or how I took the buildings from this background, the bushes from this background, and the <laughs> bench from this background and made an entirely new background. And hopefully, oh. none of you noticed. Am I being I don't think cheap anybody or noticed. cutting corners? Absolutely. Well, yes. But that's the point. That gives another background artist more time to make something else. Like this James-themed city skyline. Instead of having to draw 20 different backgrounds of a bedroom. We already have a bedroom. Let's just do something else, please. It's not being lazy. It's getting the most use, the most mileage yeah, true. out of your hard work. I true. see this next story pop see, up on See, what Twitter you're watching right now, this is being month, lazy. And it makes me want to stab my eyes out. If you look at this scene from not the, the video Book, me. and this scene from Winnie the Pooh, these two similarly proportioned boys oh, are yeah. really moving in the exact same way. Yeah, I've Wait, seen videos comparing Disney animation. Did someone from Winnie the Pooh plagiarize the Jungle Book? No. Remember what I said about drawings equal time plus money? Well, back in the old days of animation, before fancy graphics cards and floppy disks, animation frames had, to, had to be, be drawn by hand onto floppy transparent sheets called cells. Yeah, so cells. animated movies were essentially a really long flipbook with over a hundred thousand yeah, hand drawn true. painted pages. Back then, drawings equaled even more time and even more money. This whole sequence had to not only be drawn 24 times a second, but it also had to have the correct timing to look like a little boy was jumping on rocks. Just because you drew 24 Mowgli's doesn't mean they're going to look good when you play the frames together. So if you're True. making a cartoon movie in the 70s and you need a scene where a young boy character is just being a dude and throwing rocks and you need a really climactic fight scene, are you going to spend the time and money drawing another boy throwing another rock when someone else already did that 10 years ago? Or are you going to reuse the animation the studio already made and then have more time and budget to make an even epicer fight scene? If True. these movies were from two different studios, then yes, that would oh be a God. completely different story. <laughs> but Disney owns this movement of our boy Mowgli, yeah. so they're allowed to use that movement on it's our boy Chris. It's just reusing stuff. Turning your art into a full-time job is very difficult. I'm extremely lucky to not only have this opportunity, but to be able to build an amazing team of talented artists to create these cartoons and share them with you. And because of you watching these videos and supporting me, I'm able to reinvest money into the team so we can make better quality content and I can support more artists. Yeah, it's a true. win-win symbiotic thing we got going on. So if you ever wanted to get hey, nice the reuse of the background. good luck, get drawing, and start putting <laughs> that, that portfolio that. together. So yeah, honestly, I think this was a solid video. I, I enjoyed it. I, I liked it. I think it's a solid video, you know, educating people about the, the animation industry. I mean, I already know about it, and yes, I, I'm fine with artists, you know, hey, I've, I've uh, you know, given commissions. I, I haven't done commissions. I've given commissions to artists and, like, paid them because, you know, you know, it's cool. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. But, yeah, I, honestly... I think, uh, 
yeah, uh, artists do deserve uh, a lot of love. Unless it, yeah, unless I guess it is like, you know, harassing other people or, or something like that, you know. But, um, yeah, honestly, yeah, I'd say this was a solid video, just talking about the animation process and, and all that. And one thing I was going to say as well with the comment, it's like, when you really think about it, the on one's out, like, yes, it's like a team, but, like, it's probably smaller than a team of animators doing an anime, because there's probably a way, it's probably a way bigger team than just what James has, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the like and subscribe to my channel. See you next one. Bye!